In a world that has known peace amongst its land for millennia, the continents are suddenly thrust into war when a son usurps his father's throne seeking to annihilate anything that stands in his path on his quest for world domination. Follow our vagabond adventurers as I, Vandal Zero, guide them through an Aetherpunk-inspired world as they take on an empire, hold off otherworldly forces, and bring peace back to an afflicted land. Let's go to war. So you all watched in disbelief as through the tiny hut, you guys, did you make it so you could all see out of it? Oh, fuck, I forgot. <laughs> um, sure. Um, do you, wa- you want to be able to say what happens so we can see it? Well, that's up to you. Either you <laughs> see it or you don't. <laughs> uh, yeah, it would be, yeah. Um. My, I wouldn't see it because I'd close my eyes. But, yes, it's clear. <laughs> okay. So if anybody is actually, like, watching as you're all huddled in the hut. I think I will. Or would be. So. Oh, totally. You all remember Malcolm blowing fire onto the rope. And you watched the rope. It was just on fire for a while. And then it caught. And it slowly was making its way up. You're falling, and you're like, what actually happened to cause this? Like, that's that's what your brains are thinking. You you know what happened. You remembered killing the boss of the the group of yeah. air pirates. Fuck that guy. You remember seeing an explosion happen. You remember that ship falling into the other ship causing that one to come down you remember marguerite saying hold on and now you're in this hut and your balance is slightly tipping as you realize your ship is cascading downwards as the second ship that was hit cascaded into the deck of your ship only causing some damage before you remember the blue force field emitting covering everything the deck the engines your hut and you notice that as this happens the rest of the ship that was crashing into you is just exploding off of the barrier as if it was cut off to keep you safe. And then the rest is just eye blinks. Like you blinking because you're in disbelief. You're falling so fast. Like there's no sound. And then you feel an incredible thud. And that's where you all blacked out. Dope. <laughs> we are crews. 
I was about to ask, does uh <laughs> does Lehman's tiny hut have like its own it does not have air Ravi, are we are we like turbulent in there? Um oh, we're turbulent, turbulent in there. I'm holding yeah. as you're falling, <laughs> it's it's like you're go like you ever been in an yeah. elevator or something yeah. or a roller coaster and you're going too fast down and you get that like, on one of the fucking tower rides. It's just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you have that feeling. Sweet. And you are lifting off the deck. It's like driving a car with no seatbelt on. Like you, you uh, feel like when you stop, you're like, "Oh, okay, I don't have a seatbelt on." So I cast that. I cast that using my book as my. Yes, you cast as, that as. I, a, I can't do that again because I did that uh, until yeah. I take a long rest. But I did. That's how I used my ritual there. I have a question. How much time do I have? While I after I cast that. Um, I would say you probably have like 35 seconds from the ship hitting the deck to the ship hitting whatever it is you hit. You don't know what's under you. So that just happens for eight hours. What, the hut? Yeah. Okay. Or until, until it's dismissed, basically. Yeah. Or until I walk out of it. Um, I'm going to cast Mass Heal Wounds. I think we're uh, unconscious, sir. Oh, wow. we're no, we can't. Sleeping. Never mind. Know. Now we're unconscious. How long does it take? Because you can cast it as you're going down. Uh, mass. Uh, well, it's mass healing word is a bonus action, so six seconds. I will allow you to cast it. That is fine. All right, hang on. Uh, I just got to double check. <clears throat> Would I be able as Actually, we're falling to have? Can you make me a concentration check? Like it. Me? Yes. <laughs> you're, because you're you are falling and you are, not, <laughs> you are not like. Yeah, I love, I I love the questioning. Me? <laughs> but I have any, any indication. I'm, I'm, this is I'm, good. I I'm so it. mad. I didn't realize I had it prepared. I didn't realize you had one now. I have Featherfall prepared. I could have taken all of us with Featherfall. Patch. 13. Uh, I'm going to allow you to cast it, but your amount of healing is cut in half. Then I don't want to cast it. I have a question. There's no point. I have There's a question. Too. You said you had your eyes closed, so can you actually cast it on a setting with your eyes closed? I know you're there. I wasn't sure. I know it's one of them you have to see, but some of them, some of them you don't. That would that be not casting. Rain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not casting. If I'm only gonna get half the healing, yeah. You're just you're not able to concentrate fully while you are falling to cast it properly. <sighs> yeah, it's not like it's a smooth, steady fall. It's like a sporadic, sure. horrible oh. fall. I I think it makes sense. Um, who I assume Duke has the higher constitution out of everybody. I have a 13. Me too. I have a 14. Nice. Whatever, okay. tiny halfling. I almost called you a gnome again. What is, what is your constitution score? 17. Okay. Yeah. And Patch, what's yours? <laughs> 15. Okay. So, Duke, you uh, rouse first. Okay. Uh... Can I just look around me, I guess, and see how everyone's doing? Everyone's there? Yes, you can. Everyone is there. I'm holding Everyone that hand. was in the hut is there. Yeah. Uh, I can still see outside of the hut, right? Yes. Can I just look around and see what it looks like? Like, are we on fire? Or are we just fucked up? Like, what's, uh, You are what's not on fire. Uh, Marguerite's shield cut off the part that was on fire before it actually hit into the boat. Okay. Um, you do see part of the other ship that crashed into you sticking out of your ship, like about 30 feet from you. Sweet. Um, and then you are on a beach of some sort. Like, you can see water, and you can see sand. You're talking, like, tropical beach? Kind of. Okay. 
You don't see any trees. Right, yeah. It seems like this is a very big beach. <gasps> um, Ironhide, you'd wake up at this point. Do I finish my long rest? <laughs> but, yes. Are we all rested? You all have long rested. Oh, thank God. Oh, so our crew is just like... Well, technically, those technically guys. just me and Tater have. Because we're the only ones awake. <laughs> just gonna go ahead and rules lawyer that one real quick. <laughs> I wouldn't have marked it. You didn't say I'm awake yet. Yeah, I know you would. Man. Fucking... I'm gonna... Say it. What are you gonna say? Say it. Rules, uh, rules attorney at law. <laughs> I feel like Duke would just try to whistle and see if it wakes everybody up. <coughs> like one of the old... You know the... Oh yeah, like a teacher whistle. Loud. Yeah. Duke, you're too loud. Malcolm, you'll wake up at this point. What happened to Steve? Fuck Steve. My sunflower that was on the deck. <laughs> oh, 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 oh no! I go over and just wake everyone up. Make sure everyone's uh, so... awake. <laughs> With the whistle, Malcolm I guess. Up. <laughs> oh, fuck. What the hell? Man, I feel uh, well, I feel really well, well rested. So, you are all are awake. And can any you can all make perception checks if you want. Yeah, right I look over and see the other right ship here? inside of my ship. Nat 20. Damn. How do I get a nat 20 on the first roll like, every time? The rest of the night's going to be garbage. 21. God damn. I'm 12. Ah, thanks for the gift sub to Blood Wizard again. B-dubs! Bloodwood. Um, Bloodwood. I got a 12. Um, but I have a question for the DM. Are we, am I looking north? Which way is north? You're not sure. I rolled a 17. But I know oh. which way is north. You always know which way is north? Yeah. He's at the Wanderer feet. Yeah. Or Wanderer. I'm a Minotaur. <laughs> oh. Fucking oh, yeah. Labyrinthian it's recall. Your weird maze shit. Yeah, I know yeah. which way north is and I can't <laughs> get lost in the maze. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. That's the Kendall's just like, well, you're not in a moment. maze, bitch. Well, you're you're not in a maze. <laughs> I can't get lost in a maze, but I know which way north is. Yeah, because of the labyrinth. Labyrinthian the recall. Because of the movie The Labyrinth. With exactly. David Bowie. I remind him of the feet. What feet? Because of David Bowie. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, David Bowie. <laughs> May the Bowie be with you. David Bowie and his magic junk. That's right, I went there. Ring. <laughs> I mean, it's all you can see every time he's on the screen. Tell me it's not. I don't stare at his junk when well, he's on the screen. Magic or... Well, I do. We've figured that one out. <laughs> I take that back. I have... Best I like always know which way is me. north. And I have advantage on survival checks to make or to navigate or track. So he does not know which way north is. I do. He knows which way north is. I just, I can get lost <laughs> in, a, in, a, in a maze, but it's highly unlikely. How a fucking minotaur are you? What a minotaur. minotaur. <laughs> <laughs> Put me in a fucking maze that always, like the exit is in the north side. We'll be fine. <laughs> You just take like one right turn. You're like, fuck, where are we? <laughs> well, I'm not going north. I can tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Louie. So good. Yeah, Louie's being real fucking <laughs> tension hoary. Can right. you hear you him or I no? Can hear him. Yeah, we heard him. Yeah. Yeah. He's like a foot away from Let my mic, too. Here. Yeah, there you go. Let me get the. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> them, them good burrs. All right. Um, I was at Petsmart today, lion. and there was a cat. His name was Charlie Chaplin, and he had a mustache. And I went up to the yep, no, I'm not done. I went up to the little window to say hi, and he put his paws on the glass and meowed at me. I was like, 
We did not have a new cat when she got. Yeah, I wanted to take that cat home so bad. Like, <laughs> this cat fights other cats, so don't take it home if you have cats. I was like, no! Damn you, like, Charlie Chaplin! Yeah, beat make, the shit out I of my cats, cat. Me. Here you go. Cat fight make club. Make me a survival check, please. All I can do that. <laughs> With advantage for me. Everybody nope, you're game. not doing it to navigate or track. Okay. Okay, thank you. Everybody just here. just patch, right? Okay. 15. Okay. 15, 15. You are able to tell which direction is north. Hey -o. Okay. Because I'm not just going to let you have this thing where you don't know how you landed or where you landed and you just automatically know that that's north. Because you don't know how the thing spiraled and fell. But you're using your wits, you look and you're like, oh, the water, you you figure it out. Yep. Yeah. Like, no, okay. Yeah. okay. I got my bearing. That's north. Okay. So you Magically know which direction is north. north. <laughs> this <laughs> smells <Yes>. like north. <laughs> <laughs> you just spin him in a circle and be like, which way is north, fucker? <laughs> He's just like, I got it. <laughs> Mm. Oh, I love it. So, so what was the the purpose of knowing which way is north? Well, I know it's not going. We're not going south. <laughs> That's really just what I was trying to figure out. Okay. I don't know why we just made a huge deal about that. <laughs> I don't know. I just I don't know. Figured either. knowing which way north would be is it north toward the water? Vandal. Which so, way is north? So now like, that I know. They, this that feat is literally does nothing for them except I know. In a dungeon. So yep. when you you could have just said yes, <laughs> you know which way is north. It's that way, and then it would have all it's been towards the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's ocean all around you. So yeah, sure. There you go. What hey, are water landing. No, what are you're, you're on a beach again. The perception checks was for you guys to realize that people have set up camps on the side on the beach. Oh. Because you can see out of the hut, but no one can see into the hut. Must be some high constitution motherfuckers waking up already. <laughs> <laughs> well, remember, your hut lasts eight hours. Were we just getting beauty sleep in there? You were getting you don't know. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. You all have tans. <laughs> Rude. Apparently sun can penetrate the hut. Damn it. Yep. Son of a bitch. But you see people How much you mean, this thing isn't UV protected. You all see people milling about on the beach, like moving things around. Uh -huh. Um, I will walk out of the hut, and when I walk out of the hut, I... the hut disappears. <laughs> oh. I feel like Sal was, like, leaning on it, <laughs> and when it disappears, he just falls <laughs> oh my over. God, I found them! They're up on the ship! <laughs> Hello. You see, I, I, you see people pointing up at you. I point down like at you're, them. You're... <laughs> Where were you? <laughs> we were in the hut right there. Like, you could see the hut. It's there. I, we couldn't. No, you can see it. it. You can... Like, you could have seen it. We we looked. We didn't see it. <laughs> All right, well, what are we doing about the ship being broken? Because this is upsetting. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. We've been doing this for like six hours. Yeah, well, six hours. You didn't even see us on the freaking ship. Because we couldn't see you. It's so sexy right there. You could see the hut. Like, it, it's a 10 no, foot wide. We couldn't. There's a 10 foot wide thing that you can fun, literally it? see it. No, we couldn't, Captain. <laughs> there was nothing. Is Jeff on the beach? You, uh, you don't see him, but you, there are a lot of tents. Like there are tents set up. I didn't cast it so it was like clear. It <laughs> Maybe like... someone else's magic affected it. 
Hey, usually there's a there's a <laughs> <Wow>. dashed outline. <laughs> <That's getting> so <laughs> Jeez, I know. <laughs> that's weird. Did someone else's magic affect it? Can I roll for wow, uh, that's, insight? That's a great <laughs> idea, <laughs> Sal. Maybe someone uh, whose magic could have affected it. It's me. It's my magic. Sorry. I have I magic it alchemy. Could have been mine. I'm, I apologize. I, uh, I got a four, so... <laughs> Oh, no, looking back, definitely me. like looking back, guys, <laughs> like I could have cast like Featherfall on us, but I felt like when Marguerite said hold on, she was like meaning like she was going to like teleport us or like make us go faster somewhere. And nope, that wasn't the plan. I, I was just like, I believe the uh, appropriate term she should have used was brace for impact. If that, we that, maybe, if that would have that would have probably. Well, Actually, you I ask think her about yeah, it when she wakes up because she's her. still passed out right now. You found her? Yeah, she was on the bridge good, good with job. me. We should probably this? wake Who's her up. She there? probably knows what the hell's yeah. happening right now. Who's talking right now, though? Who are you talking Pom. to? Pom. Oh. Jerry's brother. Pom Bombadil. Uh, Tom's, the Tom's, the, one, Tom's the the no. less the less fun one. If it's Tom Bombadil, I'm done reading this book. <laughs> <laughs> Tom's the gopher. Why? He's the one that we have go get things. I like Tom Bombadil. Fuck I you. Suck. You suck. Doesn't like magic or joy. That's it. You just don't like joy. <laughs> you see you wearing a blue cloak and yellow shoes. No, he looks almost identical to Jerry because he's was Jerry's Kel twin brother. Was Keltan with us or was he? He was down in the thing, so he was not with you. How did he get down there so fast? Magic. Maybe his magic affected your hut. No, it was me. Oh, yeah, that's right. Sorry. Or my magic, I don't know. Does he, did someone's did he magic sleep? affect Where's my hut? Jeff? Is that what happened? I don't know. I don't know. Is Jeff okay? He's over there. There, he's he's got a a pretty severe stab wound and it's infected. Oh no! I I this is our top right. right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can I carry? Like, am I strong enough to carry Ironhide? <laughs> well, probably. So I need you to roll me a str an athletics check and iron if you want to no. oppose it. No, nope. no okay. I would like I would I would like to give him advantage and kind of prop myself up like I'm getting ready like, to get like body slammed. You know, it as easy as possible. Yeah, exactly. That yeah. is thirty dancing that right is now. Like Twenty five. <laughs> you. you I'm like, just gra I'm just trying to grab him and bolt to wherever <laughs> Jeff is. It's like I post that fire and carry him like. <laughs> You, you right, here, we'll go move. to start moving and like you hit him just right and you like move and tap behind his knee with your arm and his legs just go limp and he you just <laughs> carry him. Okay. This is new. <laughs> and I don't think I'm just like in a panic. I'm like, we gotta help Jeff. I do have feet, you know, Duke. I uh I I do know how to run. I don't like to, but uh I do enjoy this. This is, uh, this is nice. I see why I'm, I see why Malcolm enjoyed this. Literally as, never. Seen as they that. as they run off, I do the I do the like, the dad that just got rear-ended, like looking at the ship, like walking around the wreckage, going, <laughs> just going like, ah, <laughs> ah. <laughs> 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 So while you're like observing what's wrong, you notice like all the engines had um, the tether hooks through them. So that's how they yeah, disabled your vicious. ship is they shot them through your engines to stop you from moving. Um, you notice the big uh, hole in the top of the ship, which luckily enough was behind the bridge so the cockpit and Jeff's engine room <laughs> excuse me are still intact but behind that is destroyed yep. down about 15 feet um do you go in the ship to see what's broken inside or do you just stay outside I'm just gonna wait outside for now okay um 
you do see people have started putting up like scaffolding, like makeshift scaffolding that's like they've been chopping down trees and pulling stuff out of the ship to repair the ship. Motherfuckers work quick. That's their job. Do we have any idea, like, whereabouts in the world we are? Uh, you know you were, pro like, before you went to bed, you were about a day's travel from Janji. Okay. So, you have a, a, a s kind of an idea of the area you're in, but you're not exactly sure. If I gave the help action to Ironhide, because he always knows which direction is north, nope. could we narrow it. it down a little bit? Oh, nope. got to. <laughs> I sometimes always know which, which direction is north. Just remember that. I sometimes always know. Approximate no, knowledge you, of many things. You, you always know which way is north. When you ask, just say, yes, you do. Oh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> that way I don't know I know I'm going towards Jeff right now so that's uh, okay. you certain try and help me after that yeah. ironically enough that's north yep I hope so <laughs> uh, you true north are we going north <laughs> nope okay alright just, you know, just to, just to <laughs> let you know Duke north is not that way you <laughs> are approaching the tent <laughs> that Tom pointed to and you see Annette and the lunch lady outside, like, basically doing rounds. Patty. Two of my, two of my favorite people. Okay. She doesn't have a name anymore. She's just the lunch lady. I'll just and, do like a, hi, does that run fast? <laughs> Annette, stop as me. she sees all of you guys are like, oh, thank God. I don't have to be leading person anymore. I don't, this is not for me. Please, is the captain okay? Uh, yeah. No. Yep. Mentally, probably not. Physically, yeah, he's fine. He's alive. Hey, okay. Yes. Okay. Oh. That I can assure you, not dead. And you look, Annette looks like she is like physically and emotionally relieved because she doesn't like being in charge. <laughs> I don't like being in charge either. I'm not a good decision maker. No, nope, probably got food like three times. I'm I'm good at hitting things, lifting weights, and many a men. But I don't like making decisions. It's good I'm to know your strengths. Weird flex, man. I'm, <laughs> I'm just some things, things, things I'm good at. Hey, Duke, are we going to go see Jeff now, or are you going to put me yep. down? I, I, like, yeah. yeah, in my head, I like, did not break stride here. Nope. <laughs> you stop for a second to say hello, and then... Head. Boom! Uh, Bye, Sal. Uh, as you're about to go in, and that's like, oh, but there's a... And we're going to cut back to Malcolm. And Sal? But there's and a... Clementine? But there's a... Mm-hmm. Okay. But there, there's a... with me, right? Ah. Yes. Yes. Unless Sal went with them. Uh. Could I have picked up Sal? <laughs> I'm going to say no out of the sheer, <laughs> like, the, astonishment of Duke picking you up. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I went with them. I think I went with Malcolm. <laughs> Can we be just one full party in a trench coat? <laughs> like, I, I picture, like... <laughs> Sal going up to the side of the ship and be like, ah, it's just a little dirt. And he's just like trying to wipe it off. That piece breaks off in his hand. <laughs> I've got prestidigitation. <laughs> that makes it look nice. <laughs> thing. What it, that that doesn't, it doesn't any... put it back together. Oh. No, well, it'll clean it though. It'll it'll be sparkly. <laughs> or you can change the color for a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Green chip. Um, now your ship is blue. They couldn't. I don't. The I look ship? at Sal. No. If Sal's near me, I look at him. I'm like assessing the damage. And I go. I honestly have no idea what I'm looking at. 
Yeah, yeah. We haven't gotten to that part in the in the flying classes yet. <laughs> doesn't look oh, good. God. Huh? Captain, there you are. Are you okay? <laughs> Jerry comes out from behind. Ah, oh, thank God you're here, man. Tom's really hard to talk to. <laughs> it's it's he's just me. But no, he's not. No, you're Tom. you and not Tom. What what's so difficult? We're the same person. So like, do, like actually, it's weird. You know, like, yeah, I'm just. This is a weird conversation yeah. now. I didn't. Like, <laughs> you, you should, like you should take more value point. in your individuality. Where were you guys? We were on the freaking ship. I made the hut, the tiny hut thing, and you can see it from the outside. I don't know what the hell is going on here. No one <laughs> could see you guys anywhere. There was we were, nothing on top of the ship aside we stuck, from the other part of the ship, which is now the over ship. there. We couldn't I point, see. You. I point to the exact spot. Yeah, there was nothing there. How long is it going to take to fix this? Uh, I mean, assuming that we can pull enough metal out of the, the bottom. Crazy idea. Crazy idea. We have a whole like other half of a different ship. Yeah, we, we've already planned on using what we could of that. Okay. In all honesty, I kind of wish more had crashed through so that we could have used it. Although that would have been worse. He, 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 I, did I anyone? Know. Did anyone? Boys. Like get really injured other than Jeff? Um, Marguerite hasn't woken him up yet. She's probably just exhausted from that sweet spell she cast. Maybe. Uh, where is is Marguerite with Jeff in the tent? Yeah, she's. I don't know what was on the blade that stabbed Jeff, but it's oh, not healing no through conventional way. methods. <laughs> okay. Yep. Double. <laughs> she's there holding on to him, and it's preventing it from spreading. Seems weird. That seems like out of her scope, but all right. Okay, I. The witch. You don't know uh, what right. she does. Can I? I don't know, she since just seems I like destroy. Witches aren't always about destroying. They have called uh, Yes, they are. Gabble, bubble, bubble boy, trouble. Witch. I've yeah. ever read about. <laughs> are you a good witch or a bad witch? They're always bad. Not Whatever Glenda. She was a I... good witch. She came down from the sky. Yeah, oh, that's that's true. Right. That's true. What's up? <laughs> also, Sal, pretty pumped sister being crushed by a house. Uh, so I would like to take a look at it and see if maybe, since I've dealt with some um, poisonous uh, substances in the past, I might be able to try to figure out what it might be with a. Yeah, whatever check you want to make that. Oh, I'm not good going at any to of those go checks. over to Jeff's tent. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I I'm want to study to head, it. I'm gonna head that way too. You guys um, should have climbed to the, the Duke Express. I'm gonna tell Jerry to continue continue doing the um like work and stuff and see if what we can salvage and make work and we can get it going. Uh, I'm gonna go check on on the tent with Jeffrey and them. Uh, good, good job. And I turn and I try to catch up to Sal before he gets into the tent. Thank you. And to pull him aside real quick. What's up? I grab him by like the, the arm. Hey, um, so you know you know what happened, right? What? No, what happened? Just, we crashed, right? Yeah, well, if he got stabbed with something that they can't figure out, it's gotta be the shard. Oh, I don't it think you be. have. Don't think you have the right poisons um, uh, information for that. Shoot! Ooh. I, I just do we still have? Do we still have our shard? 
That's the one we're talking about. Um. Oh, that one I... was taken. It was in no. It was in the box. It was in the box, but did somebody take it and stab Jeff? No, I'm thinking when we crashed, it went into him. Oh, no, it was locked. No, it was, it was locked. a locked box. Right, am I, I with mean... you? <laughs> if you yeah, want to get yeah, you with us. <laughs> that's canon. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. A, a, um, a box being locked doesn't matter. I mean, do you see what? There's a ship <laughs> inside was, of our ship. Hey, hey, there's hey, literally hey, another was, ship sideways hey. in our ship. No, they, it they was pulled also, the ship out. <laughs> it was also wrapped in a blanket. All right. <laughs> So Let's I check just, it out and I just, see what we're just dealing Just be ready for that to be what happened. And now our secret <laughs> is now revealed so, to everyone on our ship, including almost probably going to kill Jeff. That's all. That's all. No, it's fine. So, I bet you that's not it. I bet you it was some sort of weird null poison. You know, those things are weird. Um, we should. I, oh, sorry. Might be able to do something to help. Okay, let's I go. I just just uncle. be ready for that. Just be ready for this. We should also probably prioritize looking for that box. I'm telling you, we don't need to. It's going to be inside of Jeffrey. My... No, it's in my room. I mean, we'll walk in here. The box we... won't be uh, there. No. It's going to be something much no. more gruesome than that. All right. Let's 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 go. In. Let's none of them we're... were in my room. Slip. Yep. We but there's a... Yeah. So about now, you would have reached the tent with Annette and Patty outside like walking detail around it oh you can't she like runs over and falls to her knees and she's like shaking you she's like thank you jesus thank you thank you thank you making sure like shaking you like Dude, a rag great doll. fucking jesus. woodworking i know we really like carpentry here i just like <laughs> i don't want to make decisions i'm bad at decisions <laughs> Um, I say we sorry. just rebuild the whole thing in wood because that's going to be a lot quicker. I'm so I don't know. Yeah, we so can. I pictured it. And yeah, you're re you're relieved. You don't. You can just keep security I on the tent now. Security, thank yeah, you. just keep security on the tent. Who's why? He just makes shelves. I don't understand it. Have you seen his shelves? Yes, they're just shelves. They are perfectly level in every way. Is he a god? He's. He's got to be something like that. <laughs> wow. And with that, she puts you back down, Malcolm. Uh, inside the tent, Tater and and Duke. Duke? Do it? Nope. And Iron <laughs> <laughs> Tater and Duke. <laughs> Tater's a, hey, um, what's up, guys? I'm now a fucking canon character. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, Duke. <laughs> uh, you see Jeff. He's curled up, and he has like this really gross wound. Ow. In like, it's above his shoulder, but below his wing. So like shoulder blade area. Oh, that sucks. And what you color see is it? it? It's like a gross rotting color, oh, but it's only. Bad. It got to about like this big before something stopped it from spreading. It like it looks like it's gross and undulating. Yeah. Who else is in the uh, tent? Uh, Ironhide. Hello. Uh, and you both see um, Marguerite, who is holding on to uh, like. Her arm is like curled around Jeff's bottom, like rear paw, like holding on to him. And she looks passed out. There's nobody else in the tent. No. Uh, and then everyone would gonna... come in at this point. I feel as okay. though they were going to say something to us as we were walking in, but there's a. And then. Oh, hey, guys. And so I would walk up to it and try to take a look at the wound if I could. Um, but I feel like I can smell it. Yeah, I'm is going... it so? 
Go ahead. I was just going to say, like, we should probably see <clears throat> what caused it before we, too, right? So, yeah, where, there's where, nothing well, like that's that. That's what I'm inspecting was, the wound itself. Patty was outside. She would have been the one to talk to to be like, where's the the thing that caused what? the wound? You pulled it. Must have pulled it oh. out. Um, if anybody wants to study the wound, we should do that before I try to fix them. Or I can fix them. I can also fix Maybe we can fix it at the same time. We could try, we could, we could help each other. We, you we could all try. do this as a team. So, we if there's no one else, team. hold on, can, there's no one else in the tent. Guys, this doesn't look good. Like, it could be caused by something. I think we all know it could have been caused by. That, that, well, that's why I want to take a look at the wound. What is the general shape of it? Does it look like... Uh, it was a stabbing. Does it was lo does it look like it was a uh, sharp shard of an object that came through? What's the shape of the wound? It is definitely sword shaped, sword but it shaped? is not okay. as big as the piece. Okay. Hey, Malcolm. I think this is a poison, but if you could, uh, could you alleviate any concerns I have? This could potentially be magic that is doing this to him. If you can maybe, I don't know, detect any magic in, in, in this, or is that something you can do? I know I can do it, I just can't do it this morning. Yeah, I, I can. It takes me a little bit. Yeah, sure. Well, I mean, it everything takes, takes ten, you a little I think bit. It takes some... 10 minutes. Okay, take your time. Wait, does he have 10 minutes? I'm just. He you want me? Bad. Can I diagnose him? Can I make a medicine check and see? I would like to help. I am proficient in medicine. Next ten minutes and six seconds. What dice do you want to give me? You give me advantage. I want one of your dice. This is a very crucial decision for the love of my life because this dice might fuck me. Yeah, I got. Th there it is, right there. I See now scared. she's saying this one's not going to do it. Nope. You still, you sure? Yeah. Okay. Even though I handed it to you with a two face up. Oh my god. Well, no, you gave it also with you gave. Why it would cacked. you do that? You gave it. She <laughs> she gave it to me. Cacked. It's a two and a twenty. So. Oh, pick the right one, you guys. 23. Oh, what were you doing to see if it was magic? Uh, oh, okay. I was making I was making a medicine check to make sure that he's not going to die within the next 10 minutes and six seconds. Um, so with that, you realize that it is. Uh, he's not going to die anytime soon. As long as Marguerite, whatever she's doing, is keeping it from spreading. But, but is... The, it, it, is, it, it seems to be fast acting. Is it a curse or is it like, a, like is it a disease? Um, <laughs> it seems like an amalgamation of a curse, a poison, and a disease. All right. Have I seen anything like it before? We can do this. We can do this. None of you have not seen anything like this, even with your extensive use of poisons. Okay. Or your whatever use of poisons you've had. Huh? Okay. All right. Oh, Hold wait. On. I think we got this. I think we can do this. Between the two of us, we got this. I haven't fucking bolted today. Are you yeah. fucking so kidding me? I could, I I could cast. Points. I could cast uh, Detect Magic as a ritual. It would be uh, 10. 10 minutes and 6 seconds. And then I could cast uh, Identify and I could find out if there's any spells affecting him as well. So Detect Magic tells okay. if it's if it's, there's magic in the in it or I could just cast Identify and find out if he's affected by any spells instead. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, yeah. I, would you be able there's, to cast identify on the liquid itself or whatever if there's on like whatever the rot no, is it's not an item it'd have to be an item it's an item or a person yeah. or a creature well yeah. there's there's yeah. one thing because vandal described it as an amalgamation that identify won't help because of well, that it could, one fucking it word. could show one it could show one of the things that are maybe affecting i think him. who knows Clem and Ironhide have a, have a plan if the DM will allow it. Uh, but do what you're gonna do, my friend. 
Oh, this I'll is do the ten, I'll do the ten minute. I'll do the detect magic at least. So whatever Marguerite's doing to this, uh, ooh, curse, How's... disease, poison, from poison. No, I don't like that. A purse? I tech, no. I don't think the tech magic's gonna help. I don't know. I just we got a pretty good idea. Way. Something magic's going on. Well, I feel do? like if I if I cast detect magic, it's just gonna show Marguerite's magic on Jeff. Well, is that I was just asking like how Marguerite is looking. Like I know um, she's curled around his leg, but is she like looking rough or is she kind of just she Looks, looks about chaotic. as rough as you guys might look from a battle that just happened and okay. falling out of the sky. But she does and not look passive. hurt. She does not look okay. hurt that you That's can what I was tell. At, yeah. And she's unconscious though, right? But she's is unconscious we... and she's like her arms are wrapped around Jeff's leg. Okay. You say what you're gonna do first. Alright, so I'm gonna go up to the wound. And I'm you, going are you guys finish. letting Malcolm finish what he's doing first, or are you doing well, this right away? I don't think I don't think it's gonna I don't think it's worth it. I don't right, think it's worth I, it to wait. I don't I, think it's worth it to wait ten minutes. I think it's just go for and do what you guys think it's gonna do. So I'm gonna use I have something called Physician's Touch, which what allows me to use hands of healing on a creature, and I can end one disease. Or one of the following conditions that affects the creature, blinded, deafened, paralyzed, poisoned, or stunned. So if I use it twice, can I do it for disease and poison, since we've established that it's disease and poison? You can try. And then I was I was also going to uh, throw down a third level uh, abjuration spell, because I have it prepared and I haven't gotten to use it. I would like to remove curse. I would like to, whatever is, if it's a disease and a poison and a curse, whatever this amalgamation is. That's all three. That's all three. I'm, <laughs> I'm covering our bases. Who is, who is doing what first? Um, I'm going to remove the curse. I would like to remove the curse. If there's a curse, I know the only other person is Malcolm, and I don't know if that's Malcolm's area of expertise, so... I would like to remove the curse on it. I will mark off my third level spell. You cast the spell. Mm hmm. And you see a shimmer appear over Jeff and Marguerite, and nothing happens. Hmm. Like the spell didn't take hold? Correct. Hmm. But I casted it. Yes. What stopped it? Can I tell that or no? Uh, you can Arcana. Could anybody help me with that? Yeah, I'll give you help. Not the person I want to help from, but I'll take it. <laughs> Not going to metagame. Yeah, I know. 17. Hey. Uh, you can oh, tell something is preventing from being cast upon you. Your, that yes. I can't see externally. Is preventing spells from being kept. I don't know, but it would make sense. So it probably is a spell affecting him. I'm still going to try mine. I still want to try it. What do you think? I'm going to cast a spell magic after, yeah. I'm going to say, yours is, in a, yours, is, yours is like a feature, so... Yeah, yeah go it's right not ahead. a spell. It's yeah. not. Um, I need you to... It's like an She goes... Check. At fourth level? How does that work? What? It depends on the level of the spell, but if it's because if you're spelling at fourth level, that's all you have. The DC equals ten plus the spell's level. What is oh spell casting ability modifier? Or do you want an Arcana check? I want uh this this is above your level. Okay. So do you want what the spell says or do you want something different? Who, wait, uh, who, who are you? Who are you casting the spell magic on? Whatever just made it so I couldn't remove the curse that was on Jeff. That's that probably Marguerite. Whatever. 
I don't know. Well, that's if it's kind. I can do my thing. Well, do your thing. You, but the thing is, like I'm trying to wake you, up Marguerite. If you dispel the magic that Marguerite's putting on Jeff, he's going to die. Like you can't. I was trying, trying to, to, to wake up Marguerite. It, Should we no, try to talk to her first me. if that's an option? I mean, that's probably I bright think? idea. Yeah. I would like to attempt to wake up Marguerite. Uh, choose high or low. Oh, uh, hi. <clears throat> oh, yeah. She does not wake up. Cool. All right. Like well, breaking her uh, concentration she's may not be the heart. best idea. You see the shimmer around her and, like, kind of fizzle. Notice that while you did this. Cool. All right. I'm going to try my things just to try them. It might uh, help. I don't know. We'll see. Nothing. You like you do it. You feel it go to take effect, but nothing happens. And you see this blue shield over Jeff. Do we have to take down the shield to cast can, magic on him? Can uh, anyone roll me a history check? It doesn't matter who. No. I'm assuming it's the same thing we saw on the ship. I would prefer not said to. that was blue, too. <laughs> yes, it looks exactly like the shield that appeared over the ship. See, I don't even need to roll. I got this. Because I take notes. If you rolled above a, a five, <laughs> oh, <hey>. you, have, <laughs> you have this realization. Like, oh. Uh, hey. Oh, my God. Because I got a 13. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. It seems like we'll have literally seconds to make sure that whatever we do works after about um you guys are like sitting there and like coming to this realization uh captain do you want to come out here i don't want to but i will you probably should this is weird i go out there um annette's pointing down the beach like away from the tents uh there's something coming he's awfully awkward looking too is it keltan um <laughs> make me a perception check oh my god seven <laughs> uh the only thing that you can tell that it is it is nowhere near as tall as Keltan. Do I recognize it? Nope. I it's just you see something walking towards you. You're not it like, entirely sure, like you can't make out lines, you just realize that it's like Can I do an insight to guess it's check and see if it seems like it's coming at like a fairly fast pace? Yes. 23 on insight. Um, it looks like it's just like leisurely walking towards you. Like it's not in a hurry. It's not being cautious. It's just on his merry way over. Well, on um, its merry way over. And it looks about to be about as tall as you. Oh, it's as tall as me? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was a you said I thought it was tall. Uh, I said it was nowhere near as tall as Keltan. Oh, I, nowheres. Okay. Okay. You took that the other way. Yeah, I did the other way. <laughs> yep. Big. Not small. <laughs> okay. Uh, I back up next to Annette more. Are, are you scared of that? It... I'm scared of, like, <laughs> everything. I mean, it's kept you alive this long. Do you, do you want me to go meet it, or do you want to just let it come here? What what do you want me to do? I was going to let it come to us. Okay. I mean, it'd be better to have the backup like that's in the tent, like right behind us. Yeah, Patty's in the back. Is is the tent just like flap doors? Yeah, they're like, they're crude tents. Like, they're nowhere near as like good quality as when you were in the slave camps. They're literally just like cloth on top of like sticks. 
Um, before the whatever shows up, yeah. uh, I look at Annette and say, where are we? Do you know? Um, the map was out on the deck. There's no way to tell. Okay. A marguerite was her. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Um, so after about like five to ten minutes, the creature gets close enough and it's a uh, kind of frog-like just using a stick and walking over. Hi, friend. How you doing? Hey there. <laughs> I think you're still inside. No, I would have walked out at this point if there's nothing to do in there. I can't save Jeff. So. <laughs> nope. Duke's just going to stick his head out of the tent and be like. <laughs> there's even just more people here. Owl. Uh, Wait, is everyone doing... okay? We're not doing that great, no. <laughs> oh. Who are you? Hi. I'm Palip. Okay, what are you? What are you? What are you doing here? I came to see if everyone was okay. From where? Oh, my village is like that way. And he points literally just straight back the way he just came from. Ooh, is it north. north? <laughs> it is north. Yay! <laughs> The village sent me because I'm. What's the word they use again? Expendable. Expendable. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I'm here. Huh. Malcolm, are you talking to a frog? Expendable I, frog. I'm not a frog. You look like a frog. I'm, I'm a sorry, grung. Are... You're a grung? Guang. Yeah, right. That's <clears throat> I'm a guang. Do I know what a grung is? You know. <laughs> I do now. But did um, I know before? Do I know what frog people are? You haven't seen many of them, but you have seen them. Okay. You more on like ships. Like they actually don't try to they try to stay towards the water. Like they don't come inland as much. Yeah, cuz you know they got to stay wet. Um, so should i like are you guys do you need help what what kind of help can you offer i mean we got hammers we can help hammer that thing I don't need you That's to a... hammer. I don't need you to hammer anything. It's got holes okay. in here for a hole. Is anybody hurt? I stick yeah. my head out. Do you have metal? Apparently, we need metal. Well, I have some. I don't know. I'm not in charge of the but they, sent, they sent you out here to ask us if we needed help, but then we asked what kind of help is offered and you don't know what kind of help we can get i'm telling you what kind of help like we can help with hurt people we can help fix things what do you need it. well her dragons Some food yeah you have a dragon <laughs> oh of course you must have one or else how that thing fall out of the sky well, without having a dragon, it would That keeps easy. them up in the sky. Exactly. Glad I like know, him. not shot through engines. Give him a banjo, he can be a Garaxian. Just stop it. Stop trying to add people to this group. Why's a Garaxian? That's right. But listen to how he even says it, too. It's very cute, <laughs> right? right? I know. Anytime <laughs> R's change to W's, I'm sold, but... <laughs> Could you say dragon one more time? Dragon. No, no, the, the easier way. Dragon? There it is. I like him. I want to go to this village. Yes, I want No, I, I rather enjoy your impediment. I don't know what that is, but it sounds like 
It's cute. A good thing. You should. It is. He likes your accent. Exactly. That's the word. Oh. That's a nice way to say it. You said it. I'm the only thing. one with it. <laughs> okay. Well, that's weird. What does everyone else sound like? Frogs. Their Sorry. own voices. Could you do an impersonation of a like your chieftain or? Uh, I'm the chieftain, and I make important decisions all day. But I always tell Palip to go get stuck in the mud and drown. That's wow. what he sounds like sometimes. It sounds like a bit of a dick. Oh no, he kept us all alive. Despite his suggestion that you go Despite drown. His in best efforts, mud. apparently. Just one person. I mean. I mean, I'm I'm pretty hardy. I survive on my own. You live on the outskirts of the town? Or? Should we go get help from this this town? Uh, Malcolm Malcolm walks back in the tent. Malcolm, Why? what should I do? Oh. Can you help dragons or no? Well, I mean, we could... What's wrong with them? We don't Great know. question. It's a cursed disease poisoning. Like... like... That's a lot of things all at once. I know, right? Yeah, we thought we oh, had man. it handled, nope. but we don't. <laughs> I bet you could have done it if she wasn't casting that. I could go get the shaman. Do it. Maybe he tell you what need. What the hell is a shaman? You like a chieftain, but usually they're like a witch doctor. We just said witches are bad. Well, not witch doctors. Which is witches literally keeping Jeff alive right now. With her bad magic that didn't let us heal him. Yeah, awesome. Good job, Marguerite. But Sorry, protected. I didn't mean that. I'm just upset. I mean, it's protective magic. That's you have a alive, witch, so. too? Man, you, you guys are the things. luckiest. You have two really cool people. The rest of uh, us. We have more than two yet. cool people. All right, guy. Well, I mean, you just missed our wizard. Our You're very shaman. naked, except for that one piece of cloth. So you know I'm a lucky guy. I really want to go to this town. Yeah, you you would, but I feel like you need to sort out your priorities. Because that's not a priority. Yeah, getting the shaman here to help out Jeff is a priority. He's not going to... Or she, I'm it, sorry, sexist. They are not going to be able to go. do anything we couldn't just do. Because we're Clementine. super powerful. Yeah. Could be more Even powerful super than powerful us. people need views from another perspective once in a while. Do you look at Pippin even making points right now? It's a power whip. Whatever. <laughs> Scotty? You literally called him Pippin. What's wrong with you? <laughs> it's a great musical, but jeez. I mean, if you don't want to go there, I can go get Gag How far Lord. away is your village? Oh, like an hour that way. So two hours travel, I'll be gone in no time. You'll be gone in no time. Yeah. I mean, I got that, little no legs. That one. I could hop good, but I get tied fast. That sounded like you farted. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though. How long would it be with Duke legs? I mean, I could get there faster than all of you. Oh, yeah. I forgot you're a fucking Kenyan. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Kenyan people run fast, okay? Cut that. that. Is, that's, Cut that. <laughs> that is a you fact. Could have just I'm said sorry. A marathon runner and left it. <laughs> you didn't have to get. Nope. <clears throat> Black superstar is the word you could have <clears throat> used, but. We, uh... Runner? There are two other words you could have used that were worse, so I'm glad you didn't say those. <laughs> I have run in exactly two races in my life, and all, like, fucking ten first places have always been Kenyan people, so... We're, we're making it worse, guys. We should move on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I really want to go to this village. Over there. Someone keeps beating it. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Jesus. That's what it is. <laughs> I mean, with with your big <laughs> lungs. <laughs> oh, it's so fucking good. 
Peter, I fucking love you so much. If you have big, strong legs, we could probably get there pretty quickly. Mine are Clementines. Well, don't get me wrong. Yours look pretty fit. But hers look rippering. I'm not sure. I feel, am I being objectified by a frog? No. No, you have strong no, they're muscles. grungs. We are going. Oh. <laughs> that makes it better. <laughs> I honestly just want to go meet the shaman and see if he's on the level, and I want to see what they have for food. Hop I'll, I'll carry you. I'm just kidding. No, I do well, that. I do, Ken. Yeah, I can, I can carry you, and then we can all go. Oh, yeah, carry me. That's super useful for how fast I run. And you can carry the frog. <laughs> yeah, and it'll be just like a totem pole. Eh, it could be like a tad totem pole. It's horribly inefficient. It really does, and I hate everything about what you just said. Tad and totem and pole? Yep, hate yep. everything about that. What the hell's a tad oh. totem? You sound like an asshole. Are, are tad we pole. going? Yeah, or absolutely. Am I going? I'm going. You can't go. I can't? Why can't I? We can't. We can't. We shouldn't split up. How, every time we split up, <laughs> somebody right, almost right. dies. It's fine. Okay. All right. Are you, sure. are you guys worried about things attacking you? We're on the, so the south side of the island. We'll be fine. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, God. It's the south side. Yeah, because we're heading north towards this village, and then that's the north side of the island. Once we go past this village, I assume. What's on the north side? Probably bad stuff. That's where all the big things are. Like Dinosaurs. they have lots of big? teeth. Oh no! Yeah, at the very north of this island, that's like six hour walk, though. So it's, so it's we're far only going away. One. Yeah, exactly. We'll be fine. And then on the next islands, we we don't go to the next island. But what's there? More of the things with big teeth. I don't want to go see the thing. Those big teeth. Do these no, things with teeth have scales and wings? Maybe I could ride one. Did some humans did try to condition? set up like uh, an amusement park there? And no, when you walk no, in, does it go? No, 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 no. I'm a dinosaur. <laughs> I'm a dinosaur. <laughs> they keep they keep going back and trying to reopen <laughs> the amusement park over and over. It never works, <laughs> but they just keep at it. Some crazy um, bugs and some weird shit. I don't know what's going on. Volcano. Um, yeah, some of them have teeth. I haven't seen one with wings. But they... Scales, though. Yeah, yeah, they are big wizards. Big wizards? Oh, wizard. wizards. Sorry. Big... So sorry. We have a big <laughs> wizard. Big... We have a very big... small wizard. No, he's a yeah, wizard. <laughs> Dude. Okay. Lizard. No, I now I know if you're saying wizard, you're really saying lizard. It's fine. Yeah. That was my fault. Say lizard in your native tongue. He just oh, okay, that was there terrifying. He sounded like a lizard when he said it. <laughs> right, this what they sound like. That was a frog. <laughs> now he sounds like a, he oh. sounds like a All right. frog trying to be a chicken. I'm ready to go. What's the name of your village? Oh, it's Grubble Bump. Bump. Grubble Bump? I was close. Grubble like Bump. Grubble Bump. Grubble Bump. Grubble Bump. Gr <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, it's that. What? Let's go. Don't you know? Do you know the different things? God damn it. Malcolm, I'm going to Grubble Bump as I Grubble uh, Dump. Yeah, Rumble Rumble Stump. Grubble Bump. <laughs> yeah, double trouble. Uh, <laughs> who's going with you? Uh nobody that I know of. Or she's look at me. I don't know. I, that's why I, I, I had to pause. I look at the rest of the party. I never left the tent. <laughs> yeah. I yeah, he had to come back in to say tell me he was leaving. Yeah. yeah, I just peeked my head out of the attempt to scowl, so... Um... I, po uh, I poke my head luck. back in the tent. Good luck. I'm gonna go with him. I don't want him to die. I don't want him to die. That's a bad idea. 
Well, you don't want me to go with us, him? You want... If anything bad happens. <laughs> well, I mean, no, no. It's a bad idea that anyone's going. You want to come? Nope. Yeah, come on. Why? I don't want to. I have I have I have, we I have something need to that we need find to figure this out. shard. Yeah, you do. That needs to be the priority. Find a find shard. Find the shard. What kind of yeah, shard? Don't, up, 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 up. don't worry yeah. about it. You know, let's start. You, let's let's, yeah, let's he's start not in this tumble bump. Uh, Annette and Patty both look at you like you know, shard. Don't worry about Let's it. Let's start heading no. to Stumble Bumble Bumble. You broke a teacup, and there's one piece missing, and we need to find it. All right, we can I fix cast it. Leave gift it alone. of gab. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's a spell. I'm waiting for him to read. Yeah. What he does they? They don't you know, remember the last five seconds of conversation. <laughs> read the spell. Holy shit. Read All right, the yeah, spell. I'll pull it up. I'll pull it up to you. He's like, I know that that's a spell. I've never used it. It's the fucking so gift of gab. It's fucking what? It's uh, broken AM. Yeah. Emily, AI, oh, Max, it's, it's Emily Axford's spell. Mm -hmm. uh, when you cast a spell, you skillfully reshape the memories of the listener and your and the listeners in your immediate area. So that each creature of your choice within five feet forgets everything you said within the last six seconds. Uh, those creatures then remember that you uh, actually said the words you speak as the verbal component of the spell. So you could, if you wanted to lawyer it, say rules as written. It has to be something I say, but I feel like it's a good role play. Though. So that's why. What's the two gold? Need two gold. Mm -hmm. I have two gold. Okay, just make sure you use it. Mm -hmm. That's the... Yeah. Yep, components. that's the requirement. Yep. Yeah. So is it two gold that goes away? It doesn't say that. Uh, yeah. It just says two gold it's just, it's Because it's, it's, it's not an M, it's an R. And that's completely different in the AR, so he has to fucking spend that. The spend AI two gold. Every time. Yeah. yeah. You basically have to say... You basically that's have DM's to say gold. something... You basically have to say something like... Oh no, we're not going to do that. And and so when that's I said they, don't worry about that, yeah, that's what they think. You when I said don't worry it. about it, then that was their whole memory of it. it was just They're like don't, don't worry, worry about, about what? It. And you're like exactly <laughs> great nothing. job. What are you so worried about? <laughs> Where do you get the ability to cast this? Uh, Is this your class from level seven? I get my first second level spell slot, and that's a second level spell. All right, we'll and, mark it uh, off. That's why I decided to take. Yep, that's fine. Cause it's an enchantment spell. Yeah, mm -hmm. buddy. You don't get a lot of spells, but the few you do get are clutch. What were we talking about? Let's. Are we going? Yeah, we're. I like banana pudding. You got any bananas where we're going? Uh, uh hey, what I'll, are bananas. Uh, go. I'll catch up. No, go. I'll catch up with you. I just have to ask. Sure. Him a question really quick. Okay. And I go back in the tent and I uh, grab the uh, key that I have for the thing from around my neck and I hand it to Sal and I say, go look for it there. I, I look at Clementine <sighs> and I say, I think it's very irresponsible to be leaving right now when we have so much stuff that needs to be figured out. Especially things like where the hell is Keltan? And I think where is the shard? Stupid. I think it's stupid to sit here and wait for Jeff to die and try to get help from somewhere. That's what that's where my head's at. No, we need to be making a plan and splitting up because we got a lot of shit we got to take care of right now in camp or at our, are, at our ship. We're not doing that. We're not building anything. We're not fixing anything. We need to find the shard. We need go. to get an idea of exactly what happened. All right. Yeah. I trust you to do that. I'm okay. not letting he's going, and I'm not letting him go by himself. Go for it, then. You're right. Yeah, if he's going, somebody needs to help him out. I believe the term is supervised, but we'll continue. You're right here. I know. So that was just the metagaming pigeon there. I just wanted to smile on someone's face. All right. Well, good luck. Yeah. Let us know if anything comes up. I don't have the ability to do that, and I'm pretty sure he doesn't either anymore. So. I always do. I thought you used all your spells. 
Oh, those just had those, a full rest, baby. Those those sending spells could be used for things that we could be doing here. But <coughs> good luck. I leave. So they haven't made it very far. They're probably like a couple hundred feet away. <laughs> just right. Catch walking up immediately. Yeah. So, uh, Pelpan, right? Pelpin? Pa Palip. Palip. Where are we? An island? Did, does the island have a name, or... Oh, yeah. Is it... What's, what's the name of the island? Uh... It's, um... I don't know. All right. The chief knows. I don't. Yeah, I figured. They don't figured. tell me. Do you know? All right, so I'm gonna be real with you, friend. Uh, first of all, it's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Ironhide. Um, that one catching up real quick. That's Clementine. Um, I'm going to Trilly. We need to get our ship. Do you have any idea what's going, what's happening outside of this island, or no? Mm -hmm. Okay, fair enough. That's good. Um, so if it's there's a potentially uh, so let's so um, there's a man trying to um, destroy the balance of this world, and um, it's not good for anybody. Let's just put it. Long story short. Oh, he's like yeah, he's like the big one, way up north, the big one. Wants, big to be, one with... wants to rule all of it. The big one very mean to all the other ones. Even the other big ones. He's a big one. How big are we talking? Well, I mean... I kind of like stand up fully like bigger than me. Yeah. And that's... Okay, bigger than the big guy that stuck his head out and made... That face. Yeah. Okay. Ten feet. He's like... If you could make more of you and then put them on top of you... How many of me? Like, like two of me or like three? Five or six? What are you talking about? Oh, we're talking about the big one way up north. There's a big guy who wants to rule everything. Um, He's not a guy, this? though. This is their problem. Not our problem. I mean, he's only our problem if we go up that way. He don't right. come down this way. But the problem is, is we have our guy, which is both of your problems. Right? Yeah. Not, well, not at the moment. They're not affected by anything right now, clearly. Oh, well, yeah, lucky. Um, But no, well, like I said, we're just looking for someone to help the ship. Potentially, maybe someone to take a peek at Jeff. And, um... Give us a hand down there. That's really yeah. Do you know anyone with really like powerful healing magic? The, sh the shaman does stuff. Yeah. How old's the shaman? Like two, seven, thirty? Oh, I'm like forty. Older than you? Forty-five? I don't know. I don't count. He's way older than me. That means he's got knowledge. Okay. Mm-hmm. He doesn't know the name of the island that we're on, though. But the does it have a name? name? It does. The chieftain knows it, though. Can we... uh, if the chieftain doesn't have a name for it, we can certainly try. Yeah. I'm game for it. He doesn't know what a banana is. Which... So everybody's really pissed off that we went without them. Like, nobody's happy that we're going to. We're not going to be able to fix... Let you go by yourself, cause... We're not going to fix the ship by ourselves. I said... I don't even know what a boat really does. In Me neither. Either. Yeah, exactly. I don't even know how to clean a boat. I don't understand how Jeff powers a boat. I never even been on a boat. What's a boat? It's that thing that was crashed that, you know, was further on down the beach. I'm pretty oh. sure it's a ship, not a boat. Same thing. You don't call it a boat. It's a ship. Ship boat. No, because it flies. You boats don't fly. Anyway. Get to this village. Get some help. What's the name of your village? Village of the Grungs. Grung Village. He doesn't yeah, know. He said he oh, doesn't yeah. know. 
It's Grumble Bump. Already. Grumble Bump. Grumble Bump. Grumble. Grumble Bump. Grumble. Are you actually <laughs> saying a W <laughs> or is it an R? Okay. Grumble. It's not Grumble Bump. It's Grumble. Grumble Bump. 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 Pal, I'm really. I, I'm sorry. Your your um, your R and your W's kind of throw me off sometimes. Spell it. Wumble. Don't ask him to spell things. Are you kidding me? Uh, make. Do you know phonics? Perception. Yep. I thought you said deception. I was like, why? I'm not lying. Sixteen. Fucking thirteen. Um, so you notice that there are more grung following you, but they're staying like a decent ways away and they're trying to like stay hidden. They're not doing anything, but they are just like around you. Hey, pal. Um, what? what's up with the friends? Uh, you got... I have friends what? here? Oh, okay. So he doesn't know about this. I think this is just someone's, like, idiot kid. Yeah, I, n I now really do. Well, that's rude. Really think that, that. Well, you're... I mean, that's the point so, that you're putting off, friend. Right now, so... I I'm mean, just, you're I'm like... Gonna... You're like super tall. And it's a precaution you're probably taking. Because you're super tall. We're all I little. apologize. I I put my wait, stick. Wait, wait. Three, gr three grungs in a trench coat. There it is. Yeah. I put my uh, quarter staff away. I put my. Uh, I'm. I'm just look. We're just looking for help. We don't. We're not here to hurt anybody. I put my hands in my pockets. See, there you go. That's the seal of approval right there. I mean, I have no problem stay? with you. I, I know, but I'm. I, I. I'm addressing your friends that are trying to stay hidden, but are clearly. Can not you good. point them out to me? I might be able to know who they are. Yeah, I don't see who you're talking about. I point the, uh, like, two of them? Yeah. Uh. Oh, that's Philip. Philip the Grung? Philip, Philip, Philip. Drunk? Are you drunk, I, sir? Oh, Antonio. And Guys, we're, we're just trying to get some help. And I'm just going to keep walking. Are we uh, close? They... They come out of like the bushes and they walk over to Pallop and like oh. they do the like the Charlie horse on the arm thing. But it blew our cover. You blew your Still cover. don't trust him. Feel it. Okay. Feel it. It's Pallop. I'm with him. They cool. You know they only sent you because they wouldn't care if you didn't come back? Oh, come on. Why would you wow, say that? that? That's effed up thing to say to this little dude. That's hopeful. It is it's hurtful. actually pretty endearing. Well, I, he's kind of annoying, actually. I'm a little annoyed by you, but... What? Um, <laughs> it's because I'm trying to get to point B, and I feel like we're at point A and a half, and I don't like it. I just want to get there. Yeah. Okay, well... You you walk very slow, just, sir. I'm sorry. Do you want to jump on my shoulders and I can just... No. Hustle? We're almost there anyways. It's like, look, right that way. Then you look over and you start seeing, like, the grass huts and stuff. And you'll see, like, there are, there's, like, a big... Like, a really big, like, almost, like circus size tent made out of grass and tree leaves and stuff. And we're going to cut back to Duke, Malcolm, and Sal. <clears throat> okay. So, quick glance around the room. Do I see any shards of a sword? Well, you're still in a tent. Yes. Looking around the in tent. that tent. <laughs> Is the was the exit wound or did they pull anything out before uh nope before you don't, Marguerite's thing. You don't 
see anything. KK. So here, um, so, so I, I have, okay, go ahead. I haven't, I don't know if, like, I haven't seen Keltan. He was in the fight for a minute and then he went below, right? Deck, below deck. So, like, I think so. Yeah, he was holding off down below. I don't want to, like, I just want to find him <laughs> so we can talk to him. Yeah, I think uh, we absolutely need to find him. Um, and so, all right. So I had a follow up question to the the piece in the room. Uh, would we be able to have a concept of where they were at when we impact? Where everybody that was below deck where, was. Where Jeff and Marguerite. They were in would the, be at, at they were back. in the bridge. They were in the bridge. The last okay. thing you remember was they were in the bridge. Would we know where the wreckage of the bridge is? Yeah, it's your ship isn't oh, destroyed. It's, a, it's okay, so it's, it's still it's still intact have. enough. Yeah. Okay. Like your your we're ship isn't the back in of the boat. Our ship's you're not missing it. There's East, just a giant yeah. like hole. In it, like part of it was taken away, not all of it. There's like okay. another ship it, embedded in our ship, but there was it was yeah. pulled out. Yeah. But like so our ship, are our our, are our cabins intact? You don't know. We haven't, you haven't been it. inside. We should. That should probably be the first place we check then, just to see if the swords in that room. Okay. Right. Um. When and we walk. Way. When we walk out. Um. I'd like to ask Annette and Patty if they did you see anything like embedded in Jeffrey? There was a really gross coated dagger, but that was about it. Do you know Where have that? The, do you have the weapon? Uh if you can find it. There's lots of stuff scattered all over the place, like from like when the ship hit, like windows burst and like stuff flew out windows and everything. Okay, so what vicinity so, wait, was it? So you in? didn't so. remove the you didn't remove the dagger from him. He was already like this. The, the dag we they removed the dagger from him on the ship, like during the battle. It was during the battle. Okay. It was not in him. All right. So where where did they put it before the impact? Did he Probably on the floor. Floor. Okay. All right. We'll go inside the ship then. Right. Yeah. Okay. I, That's a... Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. I think we still check and make sure that um, the uh, shard is secure. First thing, uh, and then we probably go up to the bridge and see if we can find uh, the dagger that got him. All right. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, so are our cabins there? Are you, are you coming too, Duke? You'll come. <laughs> okay. Do you have any thoughts on the subject? I'm sorry, we've just been like, no. no. Worried about Jeff. Yeah. Duke's yeah. stressed. I feel you. Uh, are you? Do like you want to go ahead and look at the cabin or at the at the bridge? Like start searching around the bridge while we go and check that out kill two birds with one stone maybe sure we'll split up the split keep your mind busy it's all right we'll 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 it's a double split. split no it's a triple we'll split, split. No, it's split the split <laughs> we'll the bowling we'll take nightmare. care well at this point we think everything's fairly safe right like at least in our heads like i don't everything Not just one. came down not when I heard yeah. the grung say that there was a bunch of things with sharp teeth. Six hours. Well, yeah, I, I didn't hear that. I uh, was speaking, inside the tent. Speaking of hearing <laughs> that, I, uh, I will say protect me, and I will cast mage armor. On me. <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs> um, you walk towards the the open door to go into the ship. Um, and you see, like, people on, like, seats, like, that are held just by rope that are, like, hammering and, like, pulling shards of wood 
like just trying to repair it, make it better. Um, and you see Keltan sitting on one of these, hammering away with a like a purple like hammer that doesn't look real, but is real. Have we seen him with any weapons? You saw him with like, his two blades. purple like blades coming out of his hands. I'm picturing like the Starcraft, the fucking uh, I don't know what they're called, but the Protoss. Yeah, that's what I pictured in my head. Um, the the blades that came out looked like they were like, I think Psylocke from X Men. <laughs> yeah. That that's right. that's what they looked like. Yeah, I'm uh, sorry. I'm gonna mark out real quick. But you see him just like he's hammering wood into place to cover like broken pieces, and everything. Broken pieces. And then. Do you stop to talk to him, or are you going in? I can't stop to talk to him right now. I'll be mean. Uh, I go in. <laughs> okay, so uh, you see a lot of like broken glass. There's broken, pe broken like splintered wood pieces everywhere. Um, you get up to the next level up and you notice it's more towards the back is you you see like the big chunk that's missing out of the ship like that is vaguely other ship shaped so it's like the <laughs> the front bow of the ship just like carved away and they pulled it out so it's literally just like a ship shaped hole I keep saying it and I can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> but you can go up another ladder and that would lead to your rooms and you're judging from the way that you're heading that your rooms were just missed. Okay. I'm going to check Glim's room. Make sure the uh, box is still there. So the door was closed. You can make a strength check to try and open the door. That's a nat one. Um, Ooh, minus no. one. No. Uh, so that is a zero. <laughs> so you are pulling so hard on the door, trying to Let's open it. Is this lot? Should I try to pick it? <laughs> no, I don't want to pick into Clem's room. I'm just, I'm trying to look for the thing. Is the door Malcolm, stuck? Any ideas? Is it stuck? Yeah, it's, it's like, it's, I'm trying, <laughs> I'm like jiggling the knob. Like, here, here, you want to, you want to give it a oh, shot? Please. Oh, please. Oh, please. <laughs> you, want me to send do, me. you want me to take Malcolm, care of this for can you? Can I give him the help action to, can you like, make an intelligence check for me? <laughs> Who, me or him? him. Nope. Malcolm. Uh, Malcolm. Pull in a push door. Silent you, for help. You, you look at him. Look at the door. Look at him. Look back at Duke. Look at him. Duke's look not at there. The door. I thought he was. No, Duke went to the no, bridge. He went up to the top, right? Oh. Yeah. So, yeah, well, so I mean, it's just... He hasn't yeah, just gotten past you guys to go to the bridge. You have to go up the stairs in the this hall to get up to the bridge deck. So he's like walking by you. So he's so walking you, by you. Look up at him. Yeah, man. you're like, <laughs> yeah, I can take care of it. Duke, <laughs> you want to push the door for us? Push the door open. Also making a strength check on this. It's stuck. He says, push the door open. So you go over to the door and you push it open. <laughs> It gives you a little struggle because there was a lockbox behind the door holding it closed. <laughs> but you, but huh. you're able to to push it open. What spell was that? I didn't know you could do <laughs> magic to unlock doors. <laughs> yeah, there's a spell that actually unlocks doors. 
Well, no, I was talking about him specifically. Like, I've got a mage hand that can do that shit from like 30 feet away. Uh, no, right? I meant like there's like an actual like bell that unlocks doors. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I'm really good at it. It's almost like a spell. <laughs> we just we just saw the Dude, door. Dude just shakes his head. Anyway, anyway yeah. it's not important. It's not. I'm, <laughs> I'm I'm actually doing the same thing. We both are shaking our heads together. It's like <laughs> um, check the box. All right, is the box in the room? Yeah, it was it's holding the door, the door closed. <laughs> oh, it was the, the, that was the lockbox. Okay. <laughs> I no, assume no, it was I a different lockbox. I'm two. just rolling in lockboxes. I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how many lockboxes she has. <laughs> Three or four? Seven? Yeah, I mean, I, I've got at <laughs> least not? six in my room. I don't know. <laughs> room is full of stand. Clems is full of lockboxes. Um, so yeah, it's audio. there. It's locked. It doesn't look like tell. it's open or anything. It just looked like it got thrown around the room. <laughs> I'm going to use the key, pop it open, double check, pop it, like close it back as soon as I can, as soon as I got visual on an object in the box. I'm not going to touch so, it. I just want to like make sure there's an object in there. So you see several books that Clem normally carries around with her. And you see the cloth. Okay. Oh, those books I are gonna it. be like really like destroyed by the end of this. They're just gonna <laughs> like totally turn to like dust. And a cr that that like that like damage that 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 thing has caused to like just the the blanket itself. Imagine what those books are gonna look like in like a week. What if it makes them? What if it makes them really spot? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I don't read. I don't read. Uh, yeah, uh, that's why dude, they're you, there. You wanted to say something. <laughs> Complete side note. I just wanted to point out that Ironhide's room is actually now going to be sand and a shit ton of alcoholic applesauce. <laughs> it's just gonna be. <laughs> it's gonna be like a a mixture of it all. It's gonna be great. Yeah, it's gonna be a slurry of <laughs> sand My room sauce. is now quicksand. Yeah, quicksand. <laughs> I have Change nothing important in my room, so. I, I, lo I love to think that like Malcolm just sees like s ooze like seeping under the door, like Nickelodeon slime now. Yeah. No. Fucking gack. Gack. Yeah. It it's not even slime. It's gack. All right, take that, Sal. We gotta go my to the bridge. Pet mouse was in my room. <laughs> oh no, not anymore. <laughs> now it's a pizza. Yeah. All right. Let me just pop it. Pop. There's pop my blood, head in my room. There's one my blood pet spot. Is okay. In like a corner. <laughs> but at least let me roll for it. <laughs> a smear. They have like one damage, one HP, I think. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's in a cage. He landed on the floor. He's in a cage. Oh no! <laughs> That's like a cheese grater. <laughs> it's just. Like, I don't know what I'm rolling, but I rolled a fifteen. I apologize if anybody is a you, Peter That's guy how many times you cry in the next hour. <laughs> yep. Oh. <laughs> oh no. He's been with me since I was young. I found him in the woods. How the hell did it live that long? A long ass life for a mouse, my dude. Right? Gyps Sounds like you're gonna traveling the gypsies, okay? They had like elixirs and stuff. Oh, yeah. Okay. If if you if, if you could find if you could find all his remains, I can like I can give him a, a gentle, I, can give him a, I can give him a gentle repose so he doesn't decay and then we can find a cleric that can bring him back. But he'll just straight up bring him back but he'll be he's, a fucking zombie. He's solid. He's a solid dead mouse, but <laughs> he's in his cage. It's it's okay. I'll cremate him and I cast press the digitation and close the door and walk. <laughs> Jesus. Malcolm. Do you use Malcolm. The fire on the boat. <laughs> It's not wood. <laughs> it is. It's yeah. both. It's wood and metal. Okay. But well, he probably said five percent. Five percent wood. Snuffed that's it out it, right that's after. It's not a problem. <laughs> Just added a cool char to his room. It's fine. And not like it friggin' matters. We got fucking mouse. sand the over the whole mouse thing. I've... Who cares <laughs> if it burns down at this point? It's mud now. Yeah, the sand will put the fire out. Fine. The applesauce, applesauce puts mud. the fire out. Actually, you know what? The applesauce no, is alcoholic. alcoholic. Not put the fire out. 
It will just cause it to burn more. Kindling. The it's sand will be fine. Uh, that's how we got ants. Duke, you make <laughs> the it to sand the sand didn't help. <laughs> the bridge, and the door is open, and the bolt that had pierced that was holding the door closed has been removed, and the bridge looks like an actual fucking tornado disaster. Sweet. There's like uh, charts and maps and everything like everywhere. There's burn marks from fighting. There's it's it's an actual war zone in there. Can I start sifting through the chaos to see if I can find they said it was a dagger, right? That he was stabbed with. Mm -hmm. See if I can find any sort of dagger looking thing. Can you make me an investigation check? Not well. <laughs> oh, well, that's a nat 20 for a 19. A. Nice. <laughs> uh, it takes you about 20 minutes, but you, like, just your intuition, you're like, well, they were here. Doesn't matter where it is. We hit this way. Everything got thrown this way. So you, like, you narrow it down and you're just like, Rubble, rubble, rubble. No. Oh, sword, <laughs> no. Spear, no. Ah, a dagger. I'd so like to can... think Duke took a minute, like, in the middle of that 20 minutes to just, like, click clack some rocks together. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so he lost his train of thought or something. <laughs> Alright. So is it, like, a gnarly-looking dagger? Like, it looks gross? Um. Looks like it's up to no good. It looks... Mm -hmm. So it has, like, the handle, and you notice, like, an indent to where something could be inserted into it in the handle. Uh, and you notice it has like two... a cartridge or a gem, or...? You're unsure. But you notice it has two blades that crisscross up into a point. And down the middle, in between the two, it looks like the injector system. Like, it goes up to the point, and then it has parts that shoot off to... Like, basically, if you put something in there, it's going to coat both sides of the whole blade. Or inject something through the blade. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm going to take that uh, back to where I think Elkin and Sal are. I don't know if they're still there, but... I don't know what the fuck to do with it, so I'm gonna take that under the assumption that that's what's fucking up Jeff. What fucked up Jeff? Okay. We we probably meet halfway, right? Like we were pretty much done downstairs. Yeah. Unless Malcolm, you had something you wanted to do. No, I I don't care about what's in my room. Yeah. Okay. So um, the basically, the time that you guys spent like. After he, Jesus. Yep. He's After trying to fucking headbutt my mic. Duke opened the door and went <laughs> off. You would be finishing up and heading up as he's coming back down. As Man, I say, I, I don't think I, I, I fed that... him this morning. <laughs> as I, as I'm like mortified about the mouse thing, and I, and I say that I don't think I don't care about anything that was in my room. I stop like one step behind you and then i go my violin son of a bitch and then i walk up the stairs <laughs> hi duke cool. oh hey duke did did you find anything up there uh yeah i think this might be what we we're looking for i'm just gonna hold it like out so they can see it up, oh, wave it around it. Charm. <laughs> can can, can I, I drop it on can you? I inspect it a little bit. Yeah, a good sell. It looks yeah. like a dagger that has an injection system of some okay. sort. Do you I, are unsure do as I, to how it works. How's the weighting on it? Is it well weighted? Nope. It would be it a is, good combat dagger. Mm -mm. No. It looks like it has one purpose and one purpose only. Okay. Lots right. of bitches. Okay. So would it be considered we, magic? 
the the dagger itself is not it it looks like a mundane dagger with a system to inject something okay does it have any of the so, the stuff still on the blade it, so i think i would still have the uh keep it spotify the poison from the swamp at this point it's long since been neutralized so it's just like a neutralized acidic liquid basically i think i'm gonna like try to put it into the dagger just to see how it works to see if it coats the blade nothing comes out nothing comes out you, so you maybe can't ask figure... me like a cartridge you you like look at the area in the handle where you could put something and you don't see like a an opening for anything to flow into or out of okay so it's not mechanical right could i reason that based off of what i see you just know that that is not how it would gather you are unsure okay. as to how it works. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I assume this is some sort of magic dagger. Mm. But yeah. If, uh, if it's so... magic, I can figure out what it how it works. Yeah, I it doesn't I mean it doesn't look mechanical in in any way that i can tell i could be overlooking something but it doesn't it doesn't seem to be like any poison dagger i could uh, identify ever, what it I've does ever seen uh i mean I that would take you like 10 it minutes would, if it was magic yeah it would take me uh 10 minutes 11 minutes it might it might be worth it. I would still, um, I guess, while you're doing that, like to go up and look around the bridge and see. I'll go up there with you and then I'll do, it up. I'll do the ritual up there. Maybe any residue of any poison that was left over to try to identify what exact poison was was used. Also, can I do like a history check or something to like see if anyone on board might have uh, some knowledge of uh, poisons that we could talk to that might be more knowledgeable than me about it. Uh, I feel like uh, Keltan might be a good guy to talk to. I don't know. Uh, yeah, he probably is. That probably needs to be the next priority. Forever. We, we probably do need to find him. I'm still, I'm still nervous to like have him help. Um, are you casting identify? Um, I'd like to go up into the room, uh, with, uh, Sal, at least up to the bridge because I want to grab all the maps and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll follow them as well before okay. I do identify, but I will cast it. It just takes like 10 minutes or 11 minutes. Excuse me. So I want to gather all the maps up first. Yeah. It, it does not take long. Um, some of them aren't there, and you do notice that like the glass windows are are shattered and gone. So you figure they might have flown out the windows when it hit. They might have just been casualties of the battle and have gotten thrown out or whatever. But you you find a majority of them. Okay. So you don't. Like, you're missing some, like, specific continents. So it's like the Janjeet one is not there. That was the, the one the, I was hoping to find. It, <laughs> it unfortunately is one that is not there. Um, the the Canbeth one is not there. And the Pagrathor one is not there. The other... I, I, want, I, I want one for, like, an overall. That's what I was looking for. An overall yeah, you one. have that. Okay. You have the like the big one. That's what I need. Did it look like they took them or no? They just all over the place. Okay. Yeah, everything's just all over the place. Everything's scattered. Okay. Okay. Uh 
All right, so I just kind of want to look around for if there's anything, any kind of residue from the poison at all. Make me an investigation check with disadvantage. All right. That's going to be an eight. Uh, you're like, you're scouring everywhere looking for any sort of like a, a residue that just looks like it shouldn't be there, but it's, it's really hard to tell. There's been fires. There's been a whole bunch of stuff that happened. You're unsure. Okay. Okay. It's going to be hard to find anything in here. Um, any thoughts, Malcolm? I'm not paying attention to you because I'm doing my ritual. Uh, you're you're <laughs> casting your ritual. Okay. So while he's casting, I'm like that writing thing, in my I book also... and I look at you. I'm like, <laughs> just leave me alone. I'm writing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Um, oh, yeah. I guess we don't <clears throat> really. We have the we have the weapon. The only thing we need to do is try to identify the poison here. Not, is anything missing from the bridge? Not that you can tell. Okay. You're you're unsure as to what the actual goal of the raiding party was. Yeah, you have no idea. All right, I think we I think we have to find um old dude. So. While he's doing all this, like, looking and trying to figure out, like, you see him basically pondering, like, it looks like he's pondering existence and looking around at stuff. Uh, you finish casting your spell, uh, and you notice that the, the actual blades of the knife are not magic. The handle itself is not magic. You see inside the slot where you would put something that the there's like a little round stone on the top and on the bottom that are giving off a, a slight magic. And then you see the, like the, the tube and the offshoots that are going up in between the blade are giving off a slight magic as well. So I learned the properties of the magic. Um, and how to use them and whether it requires attunement. Use and how many charges it has, if any. Um, it has no charges. Oh. If the item was created by a spell, you learn which spell created it. It was not created by a spell. It seems to be uh, all made, like crafted. So the magic you see necromancy. Uh, Alteration and enchantment, but they're all swirling together. Okay. Freaking cat. <laughs> okay. So it sounded like my kid was getting up out of his room. Oh, shit. Just a freaking cat. Uh, we're going to cut over to Ironhide and Clem. At the worst possible time to cut to them. 
Do you tell me any of that, Malcolm? Or do you? Yeah, I would have. I would have told you all of it. Oh god! I was gonna ask the same thing. I'm like, do you uh, you share that with us? Yeah. No. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Enchantment magic worries me. I think of when I hear enchantment. I don't know if you guys ever played like Dragon Age back in the day. There was a dude well, who enchanted your stuff, and he was like, "Enchantment, enchantment." <laughs> most of us, most, of, most <laughs> items, I think of. most items with magic are enchanted anyway, so it's gonna show some right. enchantment. Hmm. Y- yeah, but that's also along the vein of like well, charm I... spells. Huh? Huh? So. Is this going to make Jeff do some stuff he wouldn't normally do? I think we should keep an eye on him. We need to figure out what's going on because she's not going to be able to hold that that shield forever. Yeah, thank God she was able to do it, though. I feel like we just passed out for like 12 hours and he was just chilling. (laughs) Uh, I I just lost my pet mouse. I'm not losing Jeff. (laughs) (laughs) It's a day of losses. So, do you guys like where where are you guys from? Oatmeal Town. Oatmeal. Granola. Granola. No, that's the name of the town. What? Granola. What's granola? The town is called Granella, I believe. Okay. And Granola. I don't know what that it's is. In... It's part of oats and berries. Garaxi, and, right? That's uh... the whole thing, right? I don't know. I was never good at geography. Sometimes there's clusters. I like berries. We have berries around here. That's like our main I like berries too. Yeah, all right. Well, I'm, I'm about this one. I had a cat named Barry once. B A R R Y. Was it delicious? B R R Y. We don't what? eat cats. What the hell's wrong with you? It's a cat. It's a four-legged creature that is small and purrs and scratches you, but sometimes it bites you, but that means it loves you. Oh, it's like my aunt Teresa. You got a weird family, bro. Yeah, she's funny. My dad says she's what? The black oh, sheep sorry. of the family. Okay. I didn't know what the hell. Well, was I don't know what that there. means because she's a guang. Right. That's what I was just about to say. You beat me to it. They're guangs. Runs. You and I yeah. are on the same said, wavelength. You, we're going to yeah. be good no. friends. No, no, we're pals. You're pal. I'm Ironhide. I see exactly. He's actually, Battle. his name is, his name is, I believe his name is Pal Lip. Yeah, but, but we're just going to short it into pal. <gasps> We should do that. It's easier to say. Yeah, that's why I always say it. That's it might confuse I... you with Philip. No, because that's why his name is Pip. His name is Philip. Oh. No, it's Pip. Philip. Uh, all right. Oh, sorry. Well, oh, <laughs> this, this right here is the tent of um. His name is Janessi. What? Janessi. 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 All right. Genocide? Ja. Nessai. Genocide. Yeah, that. No. I don't know what that is. Real is bad. This, is this your chieftain oh. or the shaman? Uh, this is the chieftain. Okay, Mr. Chieftain. I better get his name right or we're just going to get automatically sent to jail. Genocide. I... Yep. It's actually Wait. Janessi. No. Oh. Hello, Janessi. I'm Ironhide. Uh, I believe you already know Pal. This is Clem. Uh, pleasure to meet your meet who is, me. Um... Who is Pal? Oh, that's, Palip. That's Palip. Yeah, no, it's Pal. I like him. Can I keep him? No, you can't keep him. He's a sentient being. He's got feelings. He's not a pet. I, I don't care. Well, that's, that's super a yes. sad. No, we're not. That's a yes. Do you you remember what happened to the sunflower? No. And that wasn't even sentient. I'm sorry. He's just... He constantly makes things hard to do around here. 
Yeah, we don't need that. We don't need none of that in our lives. Stop it. You you already do that. No. I'm putting my foot down. If Malcolm I, was here, he'd probably punch you in the head if he could reach it. I don't dislike him. He's just hard to stomach sometimes. Small I like doses. Him. Small doses. Got it. Anyway. Uh, so our ship crashed here. Uh, we have a dragon we, that we... might... Give him a second. Uh, oh, that one. You actually... have a dragon. Yeah, he got hurt with something, and we need uh, your shaman to look at him. I would like to insight check the dragon reaction. What, are you going to, like, fucking steal it from us? I don't know if Jeff would um, be... You can go ahead and roll me an insight check. This is why Clem went. <clears throat> uh, dirty 20. Um, you get that there's nothing malicious about his look. It's just more of a, holy shit, a dragon. That's cool. Okay. Like, he's, like, excited. Good. I'm just making sure. Yep. Been burned too you many do, times in this campaign, you do, right? You. <laughs> That's why I said don't make tragic backstories. I'll do it for you. I didn't you. make a tragic one <laughs> at all. Um, ship crashed. Dragon might be dying. Witch is certainly hurt, too. What? You have a witch, too? Yeah, the witch is uh, trying to save the dragon. Um, you have all kinds of blessings with it's you all the a time. Lot, it's a lot like this book I'm reading called Druidcraft in the Night. No. Did your aunt rate that one, too? No. You can oh. read? I can't. We can't either. It's, not, it's hard. There's that little man with the, the hat. Sometimes we get things that wash up to shore and they're, they're paper. We can tell it's paper, but we can't read it. I have a question. Mm -hmm. What did you just say about the little man in the hat? There's a little man with a hat. What is... He makes a sound. Are you talking about our tea? Yeah. Got it. It's a t sound. Yeah, t sound. Where there's an H, it's a sound. Yeah, it's confusing. No, it's not. It's not, it's not confusing. Anyway, I did not come here to give you a reading lesson. These people need one, too. <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> Tragic. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have used that word. It started with a T. Um, anyway. <laughs> uh, so um, That's only when it's want... capitalized. When it's not capitalized, he's crossing his arms. Yes, we would love what some help. What is happening? We got started on I letters. want reading They're Rainbow very... with Clem and Iron <laughs> <laughs> Um, So should I take them to Shaman? Yes. Please. Yes, please. It'll... You, you're good at taking people for tours or keeping them busy. Okay. He's like me. He sees too much of himself in this guy. I want to um, take him with me. You can't. Okay. We can't. Why Thanks, can't Chief. And you he starts heading out. I make food you don't know every day. You're taking care of Grung. I'm pretty sure Pal can take care of himself. Uh, he starts leading you towards the big tent. Do 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 do. All right, let's uh. Yeah, it's a funny song. Yeah, sorry. There's like a circus and big tents. I'm ready. This is interesting. What goes on in this big tent there, pal? This is where the shaman lives. Oh, all right. Well, that's expensive. He's not a good tour guide. Damn. What? Nothing. I'm just He's mumbled. Nobody myself. heard you. I know. Say it louder no. for the internet. <laughs> sorry, internet. Um, I remember be very polite, be polite. <laughs> uh, shit. If he asks a question, try to answer it as best as you can. Because the you more nervous? he knows, what are you nervous? No, I'm telling you, how nervous I don't go in here very often. I'm just telling you, like, what they tell me to be, like, tell the Light, truth. Not nervous. Be careful. Be polite. 
said that twice. I think apparently it's, it's very important. Yeah. Don't don't be rude. Well, I'll try. He is source of all knowledge that comes to us. Oh. He can commune like with knowledge. spirits. I can't do that. I can do that. I've never seen you do that. You're I haven't that tried. Up. Bullshit. I don't believe you. Anyways. I haven't really tried to talk to any dead people, but I could. I've seen you turn dead people into walking corpses, corpses yeah. that then hit living people and make them almost dead, so... You, you know what? what? <laughs> Two-Toed Tony was was a valued uh, experiment. He wasn't. I think you uh, need to stay out of the tent. No, I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm more polite of the two of us. Yeah, okay. That's I true. don't know. We'll be fine. It's fine. Yeah. We'll be fine. You What's his name? It's a learning mistake. He'll be fine. He, he only like has his name ago. in our tongue, and it's... Yeah, I'm not saying that. I will I will dress him as sir. He, is it the... That, that is right? okay. Or great shaman. What if he's just an okay? You know what? Never mind. Great shaman. Never mind. And we enter. Uh, it is this very is dimly well. lit. Uh, and it's very. <laughs> and he's gone. It's very um, <laughs> like marshing here. Like the ground is wet and kind of squishy. And you see further back, like, the light. There's less light, but there's, like, still just enough. And you feel hot air just come by and rush right by you. We are in Florida. I like it here. What do you want, my fragile little one? Right, where is this voice coming from, first of all? Back uh, the, the entire tent fills with the sound of this voice. Hey, We're talking he to the great and powerful Oz. Yeah, I was going to say he can do your thingy. He can do your thingy where he just throws his voice around. Yeah, I, I don't do that, though. I bet you I can find it. Yeah. Um, Mr. Great Shaman, sir. Uh, hi there, Ironhide, and this is Clementine. Um, is he the greatest showman? Wait, sorry. Ba, 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 ba. Um... So, uh, our ship crashed here, and our dragon got, uh, stabbed by something that potentially could murder it, and our witch is trying to make sure that our dragon doesn't die. And it was a curse, poison, disease. Plague. And we're looking for help. There were gnolls. Pirate gnolls. Ever seen a pirate gnoll? I think they were pirates. <laughs> In my wow. days, I've seen many. Uh, this, okay. you feel the cold air coming from outside of the tent, like, coming past you in. So you're gathering that, like, he's talking as he's breathing out and breathing in. He's big. It's like the caterpillar from Alice yeah. in Wonderland. So, if you know anybody who could come take a or a dragon, no, no anything about. You know. Or maybe you have like a special curse, salve. poison, uh, disease, healing cell, or bomb. You know, like a potion. Exactly. bombs. A ritualistic dance. I don't. Know. Or green. Take green. me to the pair. Question. Um, are yeah. you? Do you like ride on my? Are you like small physically? Or are you large? I don't see you. Are you walking? Uh, Do you have like a wagon we have to pull? So I'm totally all about pulling a wagon. You feel okay. uh, like you hear something like pick up, like the the suction sound of the ground, like the oh, oh wet squelching. Oh, no, wet no! <laughs> <laughs> and then you hear like a th a like a. Th Thud that shakes the area around you, and then you hear it again and feel it again. Oh, and you can walk from out of the the back. You see like this like mountain appear, and it gets closer, 
and it's a giant frog. Huh. I need I to see it. Maybe we should have brought him here. That might have been easier. No. I don't no, know. No. He looks. I mean, how I... fast can you? What? We're good. We're good. What are you gonna do? Give him wheels? No, we can walk. We'll be fine. He's very big. Very. But he seems. Oh. I'm trying to not say this in a douchey way. Oh, you probably he, shouldn't say it. How fast can you walk? There this it is. time is of the essence, sir. I can probably get there before you. Oh, I don't think so. Bet you he can jump. Oh, if he can jump, he probably can't get there before me. I mean, I can jump too, actually. I do have a jump speed. Go. Yeah, but he's a he's a he's a big grunt. Maybe we could race. He he's is not win. a grunt. I don't know what he is. Is he? he he's a talking Hang frog. Because I'm having something spark in the back of my Clementine memory, my Clemory, if you will. And uh... <laughs> that I don't like that. Healthy. That's awkward. <laughs> As soon as I said it, I was like, yes. <laughs> um, Good old Clemory. Is this perhaps frog a frog hemoth? Yeah. Thanks for the Clemories, even though they weren't so great. Have you ever no, they probably seen weren't. It? Has your character ever seen a frog hemoth? No, but we heard then about it Then you just know that it's a big frog. You like... You're a very behemoth frog, frog, sir. Are you, you're not a Old grung. age will bring one there. Are you a grung? Sir? No. Not a grung. What are you? I'm a human. That helps. I'm a minotaur. I'm a shaman. Oh, bullshit answer. Anyways, I mean, I'm. We're gonna go there. I'm a monk. That's my superpower. Um. Damn it. Cool, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Fuck it. Wait, 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 wait. We didn't even ask the chief if there was anybody that could help fix our boat. Chip. Damn it, you've got me saying boat again. Oh, Chip. I mean, Chip I could boat. go talk to him. And he'll probably... You. I don't know what we have for metal, but we can offer wood. There's plenty of tweez. I don't no, think we, we need wood. We need metal, right? That's what they said. You need like everything I'm... from the looks of it, from what I saw. Sir, we could probably excuse use me, sir. Boat. Are you a shipbuilding master? Do you know? I mean, I no, but I have eyes and I can look. Oh, that was rude. Got him. I, I have eyes too. I just don't look. That sounds like um, a new problem. Get feistier. I think we should probably go check on Jeff. Yes, but also. I feel like if we don't, I don't know, they're already pissed off that we came to do this anyways. Yeah. Get on. And he squishes down. I do. So I take a moment. I hold on. I take six seconds. <laughs> I monk run. I monk run up. The cast sending. <laughs> Who? Yeah. Well, and I'm thinking about, you know, like Jiraiya and all the giant toads and oh my god. Hey, Malcolm. Did you find that <laughs> thing? Get that thing I sent you? We're coming back with the shaman. He's a gigantic frog and we're gonna ride him. Ride him. There you go. See you soon. So Clementine is on. I get on the frog. Halep is up there. I haven't done this in a long time. I've Wait, never done it, this. Do I need to hold on? Okay, is there I would to hold, hold on here? to probably one of his his spines. His spines? He has like like spines going down his back. Why? Well, I, I would have if I had known that. I would have. Are you riding King Koopa? Spines. That's really what it feels like now. I don't think this is a frog. This is fucking King Koopa. It's, yeah, it's I hop a... on the... All right. He doesn't have spikes, you ding-dong. 
spines. Like a porcupine. Mm. Or a hedgehog. Just in one direction, one one row, like down his back. It's like a mohawk of mm. spines. Mm-hmm. Not spikes. The spine hawk. Which way am I going? South. Definitely not north. South. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, he walks out of the tent. Hold on. Talking to you. Yeah, I'm already holding on, yeah. Uh, and he launches. And, like, you remember the old, old Hulk movie? Not like the the newer one with Mike Norton. Or not Mike Norton. Edward Norton. Edward. The one Bang before Lee movie? that. The bad oh, okay, one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The really yeah. Bad Where one. he, like, hops like continents. Boom. Yeah, he... Yep. You feel like his legs start to, like unravel and start catapulting and as you hit the apex of his legs stretching it feels like being shot out of a cannon this is fun and that's where we're going to end tonight Thanks for watching this dysfunctional D&D presentation of the War for Garaxia. Be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to keep up with the Guardians of Garaxia and a ton more. Homebrewed just for you.